tonight. From Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's the NFC Championship game. It's the Carolina Panthers taking on the Atlanta Falcons. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Carolinas and Bank of America Stadium here in Uptown Charlotte. Coming up, it's a battle to represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl. And we've got a classic in store between the Atlanta Falcons and the Carolina Panthers. the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. Rolling to his right. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. Gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Second and five. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. On the move to his left. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Panthers have struck first in this NFC title game. Well, we knew they had the crowd on their side. Their defense has already made a stop, but now here's an opening drive touchdown. Yeah, how about the defense making the stop, offense feeling their momentum that they've generated, and turning it into points on their side to The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out, but I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Flushed out right. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And now he'll let this one go deep, back over the middle. And unable to connect, incomplete. Uh, give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down.
Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. And look at this, they come right back with a big shot downfield. Well, big plays have been a hallmark of this offense all season, so there was no reason to think that it wouldn't continue here in this title game. Obviously, the magnitude of the event, not getting to them early. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Robbie Anderson, 35 yards. And the Panthers have taken the lead here in this NFC Championship game. I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. touchdown originally and this will stay a touchdown after the video review so they had it right they'll try and start this drive in the air He's going to look deep for more. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Disrupting that play and dropping him was Arnold Ebikati. So we've reached halftime here in the NFC Championship. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks as always. What half remains in the battle to see who will take home that George Hallis trophy and represent the NFC in the Super Bowl? We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. But first, let's look back to the AFC Championship game held earlier today. And it's the Cincinnati Bengals who are heading to the Super Bowl as they await the winner of this NFC Championship game. So with that, let's get you right back out for the second half as one of these teams will represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. To find out who, let's turn it back over to Brandon Godden. The Panthers ready to go back to work to start the third quarter. And they have work to do in the second half if they want to earn that berth to the Super Bowl. And I'm pretty sure this is where their coaches at halftime were saying don't panic and then demonstrating it by not making a lot of drastic changes to the game plan. Let's just get back to doing what we've been doing all year long. That should be more than good enough. Being chased out left. That is caught by Anderson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A really good pickup of 28 yards. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey, and he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Second and six. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. Now back to throw. Forced out to his left. 
Looking left side, and it's complete. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it, an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. He'll drop to throw. Flush to his right. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Tommy Trimble. A one-yard touchdown reception. And the Panthers have retaken a third-quarter lead. And the Panthers coming out now. Back to throw now on first down. Rolling to his left. And that is incomplete. Understand he's just down one possession, trying to make something happen by extending the play, but the coverage downfield was excellent. He escaped and bought some time, but that one goes incomplete. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. So roughing the passer penalty, never one that you like to see. Not at all, especially when you're in that final push of the season. You can't afford to get your quarterback hurt before the playoffs roll around. And we know they'll be here before you know it. He'll look to throw. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. That's caught inside the 20. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Eluding the pressure right. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. But based on the play we just saw there, he might not be the guy you want to challenge in coverage on these all-important snaps. He certainly looks dialed in right now. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And he gets this inside the 10 to the 9. It's also a gain of 9. Five men in the secondary now for the Falcons on third down. They'll look to throw again. Steps away. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. And next time, Brandon, I think you might want to consider running it because those defensive backs, they were plastered to the receivers, and they weren't letting up as that play went on. Carolina getting set to take the field. They'll come out throwing here on first down. He's going to look deep for more. And got his man complete. Touchdown, Carolina. DJ Moore, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Panthers strike quickly to take the lead here in the fourth. On this stage, conference championship game, every play is magnified, and that was a big play. No doubt about it. One thing that has these guys a step away from a shot at a big game, their big play ability. They can strike from anywhere. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Back to throw here. Out to his left. He's got a man complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. They'll look to throw here.
He's got the connection to Moore. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. 18 more yards there and another first down. Now they get the timeout. It leads you to wonder, will they kick it here or risk running another play and possibly not getting down in time? And what a ride it has been. NFC champs, they have punched their ticket to the biggest show in sports. And what a way to get there, to go the entire season and then play for the right to go to the Super Bowl and the right to call themselves NFC champs. Elation has to abound. And that'll close the books on the conference championship. For Charles Davis, myself, Brandon Gordon, and our entire crew, we'll talk to you in two weeks from the Super Bowl.